Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Sabbath Tech. I've just about finished uh, unpacking and, uh, oops, hello, uh, organizing all of my stuff since the last time. We have a lot of loot <laughs> from the Twilight Forest in total. Oh crap, I forgot some of this stuff here. Um, well, that's fine, that can stay there for now. I put my, uh, you know what, I may just as well move it. I put my Twilight Forest in its own box, um, and that's going to be important. Today, dudes, I'm hoping, hoping that we're going to reach the next stage. I'm hoping that we may be able to, by the end of this episode, craft the coal engine. Uh, we only need a few more pieces. We only need, well, we need to craft up everything. As you can see, I've smelted up iron because I wanted to make myself... A uh, couple of anvils. One, and we found one as well. I think I have it in my bag. Uh, ooh, that needs to go as well. Yeah, got a little bit of organization left to do. But yeah, we have two anvils, so that's going to be for the craft. And that's why I was clearing this out, because I want to start putting the things in there. The pistons is not a problem. I think uh, we have four octane ingots. Uh, we definitely have the iron for it. That's just, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we have four of those. Yep. Cool, so that's going to be an, an easy fix. I would also like to make myself an anvil. Um, so let's pour that out. We did have quite a bit of iron. Quite a bit of iron. Boom. Yeah, I'd like to make myself an, arm, uh, an anvil, and I'll show you why in a second. Boom. Let's put that down. Would make sense. Well, I don't like to have things next to the door. Ah, there's a good place. Yeah, um, we got a lot of stuff from Twilight, including not just this, but also this stuff here. And some of this stuff is really powerful, like, uh, don't know about that sword. The sword, the other sword that we used last time was better, the Steel Leaf Sword, that has Venom and Sharpness too. <laughs> That's uh, pretty insane. Um, but that has very low durability. This was the sword we were using, 6 damage with 512. This have 7 damage, 512. Okay, so that's... That's going to be better in the long run. But I'm going to use this to begin with. Uh, we also found this guy here. Unfortunately, with Curse of Binding. Uh, I did find another one, did I not? That wasn't... Yeah, this guy here. That's a little bit damaged. So I wonder if we could repair it. Pretty sure we can. Uh, then I would like to get... Uh, you know what? Protection 3 would be nice. But Fire Protection, they are ghasts that we are fighting. So I'm going to get those. And did I get any leggings? It does not look like it. It does not look like it. However, we did get some of that, um, of the plating stuff, uh, this stuff here. But this is super expensive. So you take this, you turn it into shard clusters, which you then smelt up. Uh, so we got <laughs> three ingots out of that entire cave that we did, or that uh, place that we did. So that's pretty, pretty rough. But I want to try and see if we can, if I can repair this with one. And then we also found, up uh, in here, protection three book. So... Want to apply that to this as well. The more armor we can have and sustainable armor, the better. The only problem with these armor pieces are that I can't tell whether or how much durability they have. And champion cost one. Dude, I'm pretty sure I have levels. <laughs> it's just bugged out since I started it. Yeah. 28 levels is what I had. Did that give me the cooked stuff immediately? Yeah, I think it did because I don't have any and I had buffalo meat on me. Very cool. So that's a very useful sword. But like I said, the knife metal is kind of expensive to come by. Come by. But we could uh, we could repair this once and then throw the protection on it. And that's going to be the armor I use. And then what about this helmet? Looks pretty cool. Pretty pretty nice. And for leggings... Um, steel leaf leggings are better than iron. So yeah... Unfortunately, they're not enchanted or anything, and the other ones broke super quick, but I'll bring those. I'll bring those on me leggings, and I'm gonna again pack a little bit of a goodie box here, pack some backups. Not gonna bring the Tinker's uh, bows, uh, <clears throat> because I also crafted up a crap ton of arrows. Well, not a crap ton, but I crafted up all the, <laughs> all the feathers I had collected, so that's all good. One thing I messed up last time was that I didn't have any torches, so let's... Uh, Craft a crap ton of torches. It would be better if I just uh, did another another mining run in the uh, in the uh, in between lands, but I don't want to go back there right now. Can I? Thank you. Yeah, I don't want to go back there right now. Check that out as well, by the way. On the bottom right hand corner, I got like shields there. That's pretty cool. 
these things. That's pretty sweet. Uh, okay, I think that's good in terms of armor. Um, and we're very close to like maxing our things here as well. I've been eating very well. Actually need to start eating some taters again, which is <laughs> which is nice because taters is like the easiest thing to to get. But yeah, long story short, today is the day where we take down the Urgast. And by taking down the Urgast, I'm hoping that we are gonna get some good stuff. <laughs> I'm hoping that we're gonna be uh, uh, available to join the next uh, the next stage. But we'll see. We'll see. I've been uh, been very uh, like <laughs> shut down before with my plans, so I'm not gonna promise anything. I'll bring these things with me in case I need them for like a pedestal. Also, I placed this guy down and I can't break him. And I can't pick him up either. It's very, very annoying. Frustration. Um, oh yeah, pickaxe-wise, you know what? We actually got this thing, the knightly pick. Which is better in every way than the bronze. Except for the fact that it will take knight metal to repair it. Something that I don't have that much of. But we'll bring it. Um, extra damage to an armor target. Efficiency 3, I'm breaking 3. Yeah. These axes look pretty good. I may bring them and try them out. Just for... Uh, just for fun. Where did I put my... Ooh. Oops. Oops. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay. So with that being said, I think I'm ready to uh, go. And I'm just gonna zoop my way back to the... Uh, bring some blocks as well. Zoop my way back to the... Ah, I can't have that in my face. <laughs> I'm gonna zoop my way back to the freaking twilight. To that guy. And you know what? I actually forgot my bed in the... Uh, in the other place, and I don't really feel like getting it again, so I may need to get some more sugar cane to do that though. Should probably set up, reset up some of the farms that I have because I'm like being a little bit unresourceful. Yeah, I need need one more of uh, these, so 16 sugar cane to make one wool. I've reached uh, the dark forest. I wonder if I can just zoop on top of these trees. Uh, possibly could that could do that. Yeah, that's nice and flat. And then in the center of this place, uh, I think the uh, the Urgas tem Temple is. Did I bring? Yeah, I did bring this guy. Uh, yeah, quite a bit south, though. Is that bugged out again? That is bugged out again. But there we go. Look at that. Ooh, baby. There she blows. Let me turn off clouds so we can see what the crap we're looking at. Because clouds in Minecraft... You know, it's not my style. I know a few people that like clouds. I like it better like this, though. That's beautiful. Or that's weird, cool looking. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of my... Uh, of my climbing ability here. Because this is like a big puzzle. Let's just see so we can get into it first of all. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. We, may, we may get a guy coming up to us saying, No, oh, you can't do this. But I could just climb up on top. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. I love that sound so much. I wish you could craft these blocks. I don't think I can... Can I break them? No, I can't actually break them. Ha. Huh. Okay. Encased tower wood. Cool. Or dictionaries to wood. Because uh, we need the... Um, Let's just keep an eye out here. We're gonna need this thing, the Karmatine Reactor. And that looks like these, but that's it's not the same thing. Um, reappearing block, okay. I'm confused. That's a guess. Oh, that's the other entrance, okay. Do I get up? Do I get up somewhere here, or...? Oh yeah, there's a staircase. It's called you stupid moron. There's a staircase. Look at that little gas there. <laughs> uh, hopefully they drop gas tears. Oh my goodness. Yes, got a gas tear, I think. Nice! Okay, and dispensers? I don't even think we can use these yet, but I'm gonna collect them. Because if we are close to the next stage, it's going to be useful. What about a cauldron? We can smelt that down. Yeah, we can. What about a brewing stand? Like, that's... Yeah, that's... That's certainly not in our... In our arsenal yet. Oh, I love this. 
This is good times. This, for some reason, feels a lot nicer to explore than the other things. Here's our first puzzle, though. Sorry. Sorry for breaking your floors and stuff. I'll repair it. Don't you worry. Look. Look, mommy, I repaired it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is the first puzzle. I guess maybe we should do these puzzles. So, we have to activate the, these in a specific sequence, I guess. Or maybe just have all of them activated at once. Oh, you see that creates ghost blocks there. And then they disappear. That's cool. That's cool. Because this is designed without flying, right? It's, however, not designed for me not to climb it, so... Definitely climb it if I can. Anti-builder. Oh, they've also made it so you can't build anything here. That's that's cool. So, yeah. <laughs> it just breaks whatever I place. <laughs> Makes it dark for YouTube. Can I break... Just out of curiosity. If I break one of these that takes forever to break. And then can I place a torch inside here? Tigerwood planks, please. Prayer praise. Yeah. Or I could just turn around and turn the levers on. And that would be a thing. Can I can I steal these? You know what? That may also be a good thing. If we get the uncrafting table from uh, this dimension, these could be valuable. Could give us glowstone and redstone and stuff. Hmm. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm obviously going to use my tools, including my climbing thing. A little bit worrying that there's only one gas so far, but... Um, Hopefully we'll get more. Did I seriously forget my bow? I did forget my bow. What did I put? Oh my goodness, I forgot that good bow that we found, dudes. I crafted up all the arrows and I was looking for my bow and it's not here. What on earth? You guys probably... <coughs> oh, sorry. You guys may have seen that. And laughed at me. That's rude, you know. Don't laugh at the skull. That's really bad. <laughs> That's really bad. Low grade charcoal. Okay. Uh huh. So okay, there's a there's a spawner the, here. Hmm. There's a key combination thing that we need to do. Oh, that's a gas thing. Uh, crap! Break that stuff. Yeah. Or not gas, the blaze. So this I can't open. And this is a really inter or was a really interesting temple in the past because you have to like find the keys and you can't break those blocks and i think this here i mean that sticky piston is something i'm gonna take but that there shows us what we what we're gonna need to do i think or it gives us the idea of pushing blocks maybe i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm not gonna have to craft the sticky pistons that's for sure got five just by climbing this one tower that's very cool Iron wood ingot, steel leaf, yeah, we need some more steel leaf, so we don't need it, but uh, that's what we're gonna have used for anyway, so I'll take that. Okay, seems like I reached the top of one tower, and I'm not sure if these pistons all meant something. They probably did, <laughs> they probably did. Can I climb that? Is there something like on top of it? No. Uh-oh. There's that that may be their gas. No, that's not their gas. Oh, there's a gas here. Hello, dude. Yeah, you think I you think I don't dare to jump? Well, I got my slimy boots, man. Yeah. Screw you. We got the two gas tiers that we need for this. Sweet. So the only thing we need now is the carmentite carmine carmine tight reactor. And obviously I wanna kill the boss just to have that done. Cause yeah. A parkour room? Uh-huh. <laughs> Not really a problem for us. I wonder if I should just, like... I guess there's good loot to find here, but I wonder if I should just, like, skip all these keys and etc. and just get to the top. Um, Because, you know... They never said anything about not climbing. They said, don't fly. Well, I can't fly because it's empty. I'm on one of the highest towers right now. Look at this. Ghast trap. Yeah, I think this is one of the blocks that will encase them. Or like suck them down maybe. So let's uh, let's bring this with us. Because I remember this being hard. It, it, it's being hard for many reasons. 
I think that's the boss room right there. Let's freaking do this. Ergast, there we go. Yeah, so we gotta place this guy down. And hopefully he doesn't blow it up. Uh-oh. You know what I should have done? Should have, of course, placed down my bed. Alright, alright. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Gonna build myself a little house here. Please don't blow it up. That's probably stupid to use... Uh, <laughs> to use dirt for. So this is where I would have needed my bow. Because <laughs> this guy is insane. Oh, oh. Get, get, get freaking wrecked. Look at that. Can I... Okay, let me try something. If I put a lever there... What does that thing do? I think it like sucks him down if he gets close to it. I'm not sure though. That's another hit! And now it starts raining. I like it. What is he? Oh, he's crying! Oh, Luke! But it hurts so badly! He's still crying. I don't know what to do. Mommy, he's sad. Uh, one issue here. This is where the carbonite reactor is supposed to be. Oh! Okay. These are all crafting recipes of things and stuff. We need four of these things in order to make it. But the carbonite reactor is supposed to be right there, I'm pretty sure. So that's bad news. <laughs> Shut up, Gast! I can't hear myself thinking. Or is it down here? Yeah, it's down here. Okay. Okay, so... I gotta try and get it out of there. Can I just mine it? Maybe I can. Yeah. Give me that block, please. I got it! I got the carbonite reactor! Oh, yes! Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so I could... guy is so loud, by the way. I could, in theory, just get out of here. And try and get to the next stage. Because he's now healed up to full and I forgot my bow. <laughs> is that is that lame if I do? I mean, he's so loud. Yeah, he's not getting out of his state, his face. He's been like this now for uh, a very long time. He's just sad about some stuff. I don't know what he's sad about. What do you want from me, boy? What do you want? So, I'm gonna get out of here, dudes. I'm gonna leave the Ergast for now. <clears throat> we'll come back for him later. At some stage, I'm sure. But, uh... We did it! <laughs> we got the stuff we need, I think! So let me try and find my way back out of here. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Can we get to the next stage? Can we get to industrialization? Can we stop being freaking stupid and stuff i'm not sure yay i'm coming home mommy the stupid gas did not stop crying she freaking weirdo but guess what i i got the reactor mommy <laughs> nice okay uh so we should in theory be able to do this i'm gonna need to smelt some steel leaf up uh which i'm pretty sure yeah you smell steel leaf up okay uh, I'm gonna need to do that. I actually found some more steel leaf during my raid. There was steel leaf in the chests. Um, so let me let me get all of this prepared, dudes. Let me smelt some. Let's see. Let's see again. Smelt some steel leaf up. Smelt some f my fairy stuff up. Uh, or no, actually, you know what we need to do? Uh, we need to do. Put this away, and let me make another one of these guys. Oops. No. These are the ones that takes long to break. They look very similar to the crates though, in my defense. But why would I have the crates in my inventory? That's kind of weird and stupid. I have them in here, of course. Jeez, I should think I'm brand new. Yeah, let me do this and put that in there. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something clever. I was gonna say something clever. Oh yeah, the fairy, the fairy blood. The fiery blood. It's not fairy, it's fiery. We need to first craft it with iron, I think it was. Which we can do in here. And also, boop. No, boop. There we go. 
We need to craft it with this stuff to be able to use it. And we don't need 17. I think we need 16. Let's throw those in there. And I'm going to need a gear uh, mold. I think I may have some gears. Yes. I thought when we got the saw, I was like, oh, I got to make so, so many gears now before the saw breaks. <laughs> it's still not broken or anything. I don't know if it's even a thing. Oh, and we can't do that. Okay. So to make a gear cast, I need these gears probably. Uh, which is just sandstone or stone or whatever around this guy. Is that correct? One, two, three, four. Let's try that out. Boop, ba doop, boop, boop. Nice. Hopefully that uh, works as a, as a cast. Yes. Okay, so we got the f molten fiery, fiery in there. Hopefully it's enough. Like I did the math. We're gonna need. Oh, dude, that doesn't work. Why does that not work? Uh oh. Gear cast. Um, am I missing something? We smelted down these ingots. <clears throat> Needs to be 493 degrees to smelt these back. Why? Are there different gear casts? There are not different gear casts. Oh no, it worked. Okay. So I had to pick it up and put it back down. And then it worked. Cool. Very cool. Okay, and then we needed... Actually, you know what? I may have messed up here. <laughs> Hopefully not. But these uh, tough two road may cost more than one. No, no, I did check that. Okay, cool. So yeah, smelt that up. I'm gonna craft the rest of this stuff off camera. We're gonna be able to do, uh, to at least have the recipes for this. I don't think we have this altar though, is the thing. I don't think we have this <laughs> celestial altar. I think we need to upgrade that. So maybe we can't craft it, but we're gonna have all the ingredients needed. And that's what's important right now. I'm working on the very last piece here. Had to put up my purifier again, had to go to the in-between lands and get some more swamp water. But the gem thing I had, and that should be my very last piece for this. Uh, let's put this guy in there as well and smelt down the cauldron. <laughs> May need it, but uh, whatever. Uh, there we go, we need that. And now we can make uh, the last piece, I think. May have missed something. Boom, seared furni controller. Is that... Huh, I don't even know what that is. Is that the same as this guy? Smeltery controller. No, it's not the same thing. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> anyway, um, let's see. I've prepared everything in here. Okay, so let's just control count this. We're gonna need these two. They go uh, here. We got the carbonite reactor. We got the gas tears. We got these. We got four sticky pistons, two anvil, four of these, and two of those. Four four two four yeah dudes this is it this is the what we need for the coal engine i can't believe it i'm so proud of myself <laughs> i got it bobby i got it unfortunately we need a better celestial altar i'm pretty sure let's just go have a look quickly but I'm pretty sure we're gonna need a a better altar of course there's something that i haven't you know thought about who is this guy ready yeah how did i do this i just broke him nice I just got one back, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we can start that process up as well. Again, uh, let's consult our book. Let's see, let me just see. Double, triple check so that there are no face bombs. Like, for example, when I tried to make this altar and it didn't work. Yeah, see, we need two slots here on either on either corner. Hopefully, we have enough starlight as well. I'm not sure. It doesn't say much under advancements, and it may very well be so that we need extended crafting. To be able to do stuff and things. So I'm not sure. But let's uh, let's consult the Astral Tome. Uh, I wish this is like the one mod I don't know. So, so I wish. Or I know. There are a lot of mods that I don't know. But I wish that they. Um, that there was a step for this. Before the coal engine. That would be nice. And maybe there is. There's nothing here. Under that chapter. What about attunement? Or is this just going to show us completely different stuff? Attunement. Celestial altar. Here we go. Oh, okay. 
Yes. Just as suspected, the dust has more interesting properties than the ingot itself. Observing stationary subjects, such as the ground, through a pile of stardust is equivalent to staring through a barley. Okay, this is the guy we need. And we need the maystone for this. We got this. We don't have the maystone. We don't have these cave illuminators. We do have the live route. We do have the fly fire jar. Cave illuminators we can craft, but we need more aquamarine. Um, yeah, we can craft this with some other recipe because we did it before, but we need more aquamarine. Okay, let me take notes. Aquamarine and mace stone brick. Remember this stuff we found last time or the time before when we fought the the maces, but I I. I threw it away. And I don't know. We need a specific pickaxe to break it. I'll, I'll look into that in a second. And then we need to extend the altar quite a bit. And uh, I bet you that this is going to be a, just a tiny bit larger <laughs> than than my uh, Mayan temple here. That's going to be so annoying. Uh, let's just see. Can we count this? Is it is it three blocks out? Four with the white? I think so, right? That's one, two, three, four with the white. Oh, dudes, we got space. Maybe not the corners, but that's okay. I can incorporate that. I, I ain't brand new. Um, that just needs a bunch of marble, which I think I have. I collected so much of that. So this is really the uh, the last task before the next age. We need to go back. We need to get the mace. So there is a pickaxe called the mace breaker. This thing. And I can't craft it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hmm. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. So we may not have a cool maze breaker. Oh, look at me. A maze breaker. Chana number one. Yeah, we don't know that guy. We don't know him. And uh, say what you will about that. Get out of here, fools. I'm trying to make a point statement. Jeez, cows. <laughs> yeah, we may not know Mr. Macebreaker, but say hello to my little friend called Mr. TNT. And TNT, you know, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's going to be able to give us, get us what we need. I'm pretty sure anyway. I think we already tested this. That's going to be able to give us what we need. I think. Boom. Mr. TNT to the rescue. Nice. Okay, so now let's just make sure I blew up that corner specifically because looking at the altar thing, uh, this guy, we need two of those, uh, two of the blank ones and two of the brick ones. Okay, so two, we got the brick ones, we got those ones, and we got those ones. Mr. TNT to the rescue, like I said, <laughs> he knows how to do stuff. Nice, nice. Thank you, Mr. TNT, for always being in my life. Yeah. Screw you, Mr. Macebreaker. Ha! Oh, with your technology. Oh, you're so cool. Get out of here, fool. Can I actually not make anything out of these? No. Just unbreakable blocks. Which could be useful for stuff and things. But okay. So, dudes, here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna get the coal engine today. But we got all the materials we need. Uh, in terms of hard to collect. Now, we're gonna... I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need to collect some aquamarine. We're gonna need... About maybe 10 of it, because this stuff requires... This stuff requires gunpowder, which I'm actually out of. But it doesn't... Oh, yeah, it doesn't require much. I can probably farm that. Or I could just collect some extra aquamarine and we can run it in the Lumius crafting table. That's probably easier at this this point. This old recipe is probably easier, actually, because we get 16. I don't know. Long story short, the only thing I need to craft up all of these things is aquamarine. And I'm completely out. It's very annoying to get to mine it because I need to replace my deep dark thing. But uh, we'll do that next time. And next time we'll definitely, most likely, but definitely, but also most likely, <laughs> get to H3. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching another cliffhanger. We beat the Twilight Forest. I know we didn't kill the Urgast, but we were better than that. We didn't need to kill him. We were, we were smart. We used our brains. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you dudes have enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next episode.